What's up, what's up, fam? It's your boy Priest coming back at you. I have my lucky shirt on. God made me. Jesus saved me. And Texas saved, I mean, Texas, Texas raised me. So God made me, Jesus saved me, and Texas raised me. I'm, I'm, I'm from Dallas, Texas, baby. I wasn't born. I wasn't born in Dallas, Texas. Ain't that many people was actually born in Dallas, Texas. Every time I meet somebody, they're from a different uh, state. But I was born in Omaha, Nebraska. Came here when I was nine. Now I'm up there close to 50. So I'm a true Texan now. Nine all the way to 50. Texas raised me, baby. Texas raised me. Yeah. All right. So I got another, another something something for you. You can believe it or not. It's up to you. But I'm, I'm here to teach you and tell you the truth. All right. I love y'all. God loves you. Jesus loves you. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus Christ, I repent of all my sins. Jesus, come into my life. You are my Lord and Savior now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right. A little simple, quick prayer. I want to talk to you about demons, evil spirits, demonic spirits. So when you hear me, I won't say demon all the time. I say fiend, fiend spirit, like, you know, like dope fiend or something like that. But when I say fiend, I'm talking about the evil spirit, demonic demon fiend. Anytime I say fiend spirit, that's what I'm talking about. All right, because I'm not going to be saying that all the time. I'm going to let y'all know. Did y'all know? That is spiritual demons everywhere around this world, everywhere. Millions and millions, billions. And however many people it is on this earth, 8 billion, 9 billion, it's probably the same amount of demons that's on this earth too that you can't see. Angels too. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 billion angels that watch over us, protect us, and look after us, things of that nature. But demons, they're out there. And yes, Christians cannot be possessed by a demon but they can be messed with by a fiend spirit they can be messed with they can't be possessed but fiend, fiend spirit can like mess with them like hey won't you do this hey won't you go smoke this or you know and just try to get them to be bad and do bad things but we can't get you know we can't get that but they can try to mess with us so y'all got to stay strong but i wanted to let you know the things that y'all bringing into your house and things that you have outside of your house and things of that nature, st statues, um, uh, bad movies, things of that nature. But I got a little something, something for y'all. Did y'all know, y'all don't think I'm crazy, but I'll tell y'all the truth. There are water spirits. What do you think that, what do you think happened to all those demons when, when God destroyed the earth and he flooded the whole earth with Noah? And he flooded the whole earth and it was just water. What do you think? Where do you think most of those demons went? They can't die. Most of those demons went back to hell, went back to the abyss. And some of them did a little something, some animal with with fish. With fish creatures. Hey, they've been around for million years they've been around for a long time they done did some things they done did some some wild crazy things so yes my opinion but to let you know yes we have water demons water fiend spirits and they can they can be anywhere in your house they could be in your water bathtub they could be in your toilet water demons they can come out of the toilet that's that's one of their ways transportation how they how they can get to different people's houses. Different different ways they can get there. Different evil mermaid demonic spirits. How they get into your house. Different type of ways. Different type of ways. Yes. If you don't believe me, pray pray some of y'all don't even know how to pray over your whole house. Some of y'all don't even know how to pray outside of your house put some blessed oil on, on the bottom of your feet touch every wall put blessed oil on, on every wall and bless the wall bless every wall in your house touch the fruit touch the the attic touch just bless walk around your house several times with the blessed oil on your walk around the house with your bless with the blessed oil on the bottom of your feet while you're touching the walls while you're touching the outside of your house bless your house 
Bless the, bless the toilet. Bless the toilet. You don't want them coming in your house and smiling on you to, and, and seeing what you're doing and things of that nature. No. You don't want them to be able to come through the come through the ceiling and, and peek down on you. They don't want you don't want them to come through books, statues. Uh they come through statues. Let me show you. They come through statues. And y'all believing in all these false gods and stuff. Y'all worshiping the all these statues. Y'all bringing these things into your house and I bless it over them. Well, you can't you can't bless over anything like that. You can't bless anything demonic or evil. You ain't gonna be able to. If you bring it in the house, they not gonna leave because you know what you bring it into your house. They're not gonna leave. Things of this nature, you can cast them out. You probably can cast them out and say if there's any fiend spirit in any of these dolls or any of these He-Mans or any of these action figures or, or wrestling figures or whatever your kids play with, you can cast them out before you bring them into your house. Dolls. Cast the demons out. Statues. You bring these in your house. They probably... 99, probably 95%, 99% of all statues and all dolls and stuff like that Probably has the the devil's smart. The, the, the devil's evil and smart, and he figure out any type of way that he can get into your house. Cast these demons out before you bring this stuff into your house. Cast these demons out before you bring them into your house. Before you start letting your kids play with them. Cast the demons out. If you worship this right here, you're already in trouble. There's nothing in the Bible that says that you're supposed to worship this and be able to go to he heaven. Nothing in the Bible says you're supposed to worship that and go to heaven. 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 There's nothing in, this, in the Bible that says you're supposed to worship that and be able to make it. Only way to end heaven is Jesus. That's it. If you worship anything else, you in trouble. You, When you die, you're going to realize, like, oh, I messed up. Can I have a redo? No. You in hell. There's no getting out. Especially, especially, remember what I'm saying right now. Especially, let's, look at my lips. Listen to my voice. If you worshiping all this stuff, And you find out that none of this stuff is real, and you was tricked. You got one percent chance out of ninety-nine. One percent chance. One percent chance. If you call on Jesus, scream out, Jesus, Jesus, I made a mistake. I'm so sorry. I repent of all my sins. Please come get me, Jesus. I give my life to you. Repeat that before if you find yourself that you passed away and you died and you was believing in all this stuff right here. I'm not going to say the name, but you already know what they are. If you was believing in all this stuff and you die. Call on Jesus to ask him to forgive you and come get you before you hit the ground of hell or before one of them demons come get you. Because once that happened, it's over. You won't be able to get out. Once you, once you, once you, at the bottom, and that that steel ceiling is over, none of your prayers is gonna go, gonna, gonna break it through, through that ceiling. You're gonna be cut off. You're gonna be cut off from God. You're gonna be cut off from Jesus. They can still hear you. Don't get me wrong, cause they all powerful. Cause Jesus has, Jesus has the keys to heaven and hell and earth. Jesus got all the keys. So, but, but once you in hell, he can't get you out. So most of the time, but you do have one percent. If you call on Jesus before, right when you find out you 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 died and you falling down, and you're not going up, 
if you're not going up and you falling down down that way down the hill and you, you feel this fear start to come over you and it's getting blacker and blacker call on jesus jesus help me come get me all right another thing i'll make this quick y'all people y'all doing this yoga I don't even know if y'all can read that, but what it says summed it up, sums it up. Every time y'all do yoga and y'all doing those different forms and different styles and all that, you worshiping their gods, their demon gods. You worshiping all the stuff they used to worship back in the day. So you bring in all those demons. Every time you do one form, all those demons are coming. And, and even if you're a Christian or not, you're doing their stuff. So what they're going to do, they're going to start coming inside your body and be like, well, you're doing our yoga stuff. You're doing all our, our rituals. You're doing all our rituals. We're going to start living in your body. We're going to start chilling with you because you must like us because you're doing all our ritual stuff. Just just think if 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 you're working on a computer and you do this certain pro, uh, program, you're putting all this information into it to get it to do this certain thing. Same thing. If you're doing all these poses and all that, you're going to attract the demons to you, the fiend spirits to you. They're going to start living it to your body. Each each form you do, each form you do, all those demons are going to start living in your body. If you're a Christian or not, you shouldn't be doing it. Even if you're a Christian. Should Christians be doing yoga? No. You're bringing, spirit, you're bringing fiend spirits into your body, into your life. No. All right. Sage. Now, who told y'all sage that? Who told y'all that sage uh, is supposed to get rid of uh, demons? Who told y'all that? Where y'all read it at? Sage, crystals. Who says crystals is good and all that? And and sage. That's all. They, that's all you're doing is attracting demons. Then crystals, demons are put into crystals by the devil. Demons get put in crystal so they can watch over you so they can see what you're doing so they can do this so they can do that don't be fooled by the by the don't be fooled by the devil don't be fooled by the devil sage attracts instead of getting rid of them sage brings it, it's like a like a smell to them like they they like the smell and and it's attracted to them so now you got all these demons floating into your house opening up all these portals in your house because you open it up. You bring them. You ask them to come into your house. You're trying to get rid of them. Talking about only thing you need to get rid of demons out of your house and devils and evil spirits out your house. There's no such thing as ghosts. They're evil spirits. I don't care what they know about you. Demons, all the demons have been around for millions of years, for thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years. They know everything about you. They Demons follow y'all. Follow you, follow your mama, follow your grand grandma, your great 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 great, all the way to the beginning of time. They follow everybody, know all the information. They write it down just like anybody else. They have all the information about you. So if they say, "Oh well, this psychic person knew this," this they talking to demons. Demons told them psychics. Demons told them that information. All right, I'm not gonna make this too long. Y'all got any questions? Holla at your boy. Peace. God loves you. Jesus loves you. He, Jesus is the only way. Amen. Peace.